All right, and I'm in the kitchen with Chef Christian Pontigia of Osteria de Assisi. Did I say all that right? Perfect. That's a mouthful. Perfect. I know the Italian is going to argue. Yeah, I like it though. Chef, what are we making today? Today we have a tuna tartare. Okay. The summer is close, we need something fresh, easy to make. Yeah, and we have the salmon. What else do we have? Or the, we have the tuna. tuna, tuna. Yeah. And what a, else do we have going on up we here? We have some cucumber, avocado, uh, tobacco caviar, a little bit of microgreens, tomato, sesame seed, and orange. Nice. It sounds good. And like you said, we're really focusing it on the fresh here. Correct. Right? Like everything is really, really fresh. And what great tuna do we have today? This is a uh, agi tuna. Okay. And it's a sushi grade. Yummy. It sounds good. We're definitely excited <laughs> to be uh, making that with you a little bit later in the hour. We will get cooking when we return, but for now, let's head things over to Jack. And clouds starting to build. We're looking at a stormy afternoon here in New Mexico, so keep those umbrellas within arm's reach. That's right, guys. We are back in the kitchen, though, making a tuna tuner tartare. <laughs> Again. I give up. I give up. It's the, I give it's up. the anyway, triple T's. Yeah, Christian <laughs> Pontesia from the Stereo de Sissi in Santa Fe. All right, so we're making this tartare. I'm not even going to add tuna. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not even going to do it. Uh, you said this one is fairly simple from where we are right now. Is that it's right, Christian? It's really, really easy. It's okay. just to cut the tuna. Mix it with the other ingredient. Okay. We're ready to go. Great, let's do it. Yeah. Let's get into okay. it. Okay, we have our sushi grade tuna. Okay. It's a wanagi tuna. A little bit here. I already chopped the cucumber. So you said a sushi grade tuna. What, is, what does that mean? It means it it's, means it's better to, uh, to eat raw. Better okay. raw. Okay. Yeah. And this so, is a cucumber. Correct. A little bit of cucumber. In here I have some soy sauce. I'm going to add. Let's forgive a little bit of saltness. So when we go in, say we want to try this at home, we're getting experimental. This is mm -hmm. this is what we want to ask the folks at, at the at the butcher shop when we pick up our meat. We want the sushi grade tuna. That's perfect. Okay. Yeah. We just mix a little bit of tuna with the cucumber and the soy sauce. I'm ready to put it on this cookie cutter. You don't have a cookie cutter? Is this something that, like, say you got a small glass at home? Yeah. You wanna, yeah. You a glass, a <laughs> glass is totally fine. Trying to figure fun. out how I can prepare <laughs> this. That's, I'm always thinking. Empty toilet paper roll. <laughs> 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 That's brilliant, Kristen. That's I'm brilliant. I'm just thinking outside the box. There you go. Okay. I put this one in here. I go to stock it with a little bit more. Just for give it yeah. two different color. So uh, you, you're putting that in. What I, do we, what do we I press a little bit. Okay, you press okay. it a little bit. Yeah. So it's important to have that, just that layer that has not been marinated. Is that Correct. right? Correct. I just like to have like two different colors. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. A little bit brown from the soy sauce, and it to be fresh on top. Mm -hmm. In here I have some uh, um, caviar. It's a wasabi caviar. It's wasabi a, caviar? Yeah, is it a, hot, spicy? Yeah, it tastes like wasabi. It's a tobacco. Okay. It's a Japanese caviar. Mm -hmm. I really love that, this kind of caviar. And uh, it's not so fishy like the regular caviar. Mm -hmm. I actually have that kind of spiciness I really love. Now, I'm trying to think the last few times I've gone to the store, I haven't seen wasabi caviar. Where do you get something like this locally? Uh, I think it's kind of easy to find. Like, uh, I think so maybe uh, um, sprouts can have mm, Sprouts. Okay. Yeah. That's, see, the, the preparation of this isn't too hard. It's the making it look neat and pretty. It's, yes, <laughs> yeah, it's it's making it look like, neat and pretty. It's really easy. I shave some cucumber just, cucumber, to, okay. just to put around. Yeah. Gotcha. And make it pretty. I have wow. some avocado already cut. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's beautiful. I know. There's some uh, microgreens. This one is spicy too. And they're, is this and they're that, local. Is this something you normally have at a stereo at the SEC? I make it for special many times, especially special. in the summer. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. In here I have like a combination of different sesame seed. Okay. Is uh, some uh, regular ones, some plum sesame seed, and some wasabi sesame seed. Okay. okay. This one I kind of marinated for myself. This, this looks a little too good. See, here's my thing. When a chef prepares an, a beautiful meal like this, where, where do I start? I, do I, I don't, I don't want to break it. One little fork is all it takes. <laughs> just, just, just dig in. You like, just dig in. Yeah. Just dig I have in some fresh orange in here. I go to put on top of the tuna. Wow. And that's pretty much it? Yeah. Wow. Okay. Okay. I just go to finish mm -hmm. uh, with, with, uh, with a little bit of uh, uh, soil reduction. Okay. We'll take a final look at this when we come back, guys. We'll also get a little bit more information on how you can try Chef Christian's food when we come back at Osteria de Sissi. Wow. That looks I, good. Kristen, you break it. I feel bad. <laughs>